Hey, good evening, guys. It's uh, another Wednesday night. Hope you guys are doing well. My name is Ariel, and I am Aomeka, your backlog builder for tonight. How are you guys doing? Um, let's see. Let's do a quick recap. What are we? What are we working on? We are working on the high grade DJ. This is from the Gundam Zeta series, and it is an amazing design kit. I really enjoy it. Lots of stuff. Lots of gimmicks. We are going to be working on the rest of the stuff here, but from last time we got the uh, the Mecha, the MS, the mobile suit that was uh, co-designed by Amura Ray, piloted as well by Amura Ray in the Gundam Zeta series. Um, to stand, I got the uh, the foot and the body already. Uh, before we get to the arena, I just want to see who is going on, what's going on in the live chat. Um, let's let's hit uh, Facebook real quick here. We got Robert Cortez. Hey, how's it going? We got a Quinn. Hey, how's it going, Quinn? More painting for uh, more painting today for me, and uh, Robert is ready to build. Over at YouTube, we got Majin Jiba. Good evening, Majin Jiba. How are you tonight? Hope you're doing well. Are you guys ready to build? Are you guys ready to hang out and chill out on a fine Wednesday night? Let's go to the arena and see what's going on. Okay, so where are we in the build? It, this is how far we got to the build. It is pretty cool. We got it to stand. Um, so a couple of recaps. Really cool stuff on the double skirt um, feel. Not so much body top articulation per se, but you know, it is what it is. And the leg here, really cool stuff. It can bend and do all kinds of fun flying things, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, um, the the legs itself. The only thing here, just keep in mind, there's like rubbery stuff on the backside. So painting this, you might want to be, you want want to replace that if you guys are doing any type of custom. I mean, if you are just doing stock build, I would still say I would recommend changing that to something, um, maybe custom metal or plastic. But overall, the design wise of the kit, uh, design wise of the kit is really, really good. Very sturdy. Like it has some nice weight to it. Uh, very well, very well rounded build so far. So why don't we sit this guy somewhere here, park him there real quick? What are we gonna building first? We are gonna continue on with the hands and arms, I think, and uh, we're gonna move to the back, the weapons, and then the head, and uh, let's have fun along the way. <laughs> so how's it going tonight guys? How are you guys doing on a Wednesday night? Are you guys building? I know Quinn is building on YouTube. We have uh, Vince. Uh, my online classes are about to end. Gonna finish my postponed painting. Awesome. Someone's painting tonight. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Um, let's see here from our trusty guideline. <laughs> Roadmap, if you will. Oh my God. These instructions, right? Uh, I mean, that's not too bad. It's also an asymmetrical um, shoulder system. So one has like some kind of shield thingy and the other one, I'm pretty sure that's like a weapon holder. Pretty sure that is a weapon holder. Okay, let's uh, let's begin our journey. All right, guys, let's go. We're going to need the, some of the B and lots of Bs. Bs and Ds, As and Fs. All right, all right, all right. I think I got the gist of it. <laughs> Oh geez, here we go. Let's get some of the uh, the B's and A's going on. I mean, some of these, I mean, are, we're gonna use our, our trusty god hand, by the way, love this thing. But I am curious to try, I'm, I'm curious to try USAG's um, nippers, as well as the Despai, 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 Despai? That one. So let's, uh, let's continue. So right now I'm probably just gonna get the top shoulder armor stuff out of the way so we can continue on that. I'm pretty sure these pieces that I cut last time that is like here-ish we're gonna use. So let's just keep at it. I know this looks like the thing for the other shoulder. <laughs> all right. We are now builders without borders, all right guys? This is an adventure. This is a journey. We sometimes look at the roadmap but it should not dictate necessarily where we are going. We are gonna go places that we didn't think we're gonna go to. And that's the fun part about this adventure, you know? You guys are with me, we're just gonna hang out, chill. Let me know what you guys are doing. Let me know how your day was. What did you guys, what did you guys do today? How was your day, guys? How many kits were you looking at? <laughs> how many kits were you thinking of starting today? <laughs> I uh, finally dug out my, um, 
my work in progress forever kit the um the kit i'm going to be using for the great canadian build off so i'm probably going to start that over the weekend well i'm going to start probably tomorrow like evening or something um just to chill out and plan out um what i'm going to do i have not recorded the uh coffee break session for tomorrow so that might be iffy for tomorrow just because of some personal schedules that have kind of popped up um especially for work we just got busy we got a couple of deadlines coming up so that kind of uh took away some of my time but um i hope to get the coffee break session that i was working on uh, up and running for friday the latest um so just in time for the weekend if anything okay let's continue with this so big news and holy cow i i really send you know all the uh Thoughts, prayers, and all that good vibes, and hopefully people are helping out with the Red Cross and donation and whatnot. But there's that big explosion that happened in Lebanon, um, Beirut, I believe, and uh, hopefully, you know, they recover from that. It, it looks really, really painful to watch, um, especially with all the multiple um, videos um, that people have been posting. So, anyways, that's in the news. Just saw that. Um, Gunpla related news wise, the uh, what do you call it? The RX 78 or the walking statue version kits have been popping up on my feeds. So that was the biggest news, I believe, yesterday. And uh, let's see. Uh oh. I thought I put you to silent. Hang on here. My phone is. Should be going to silent. There we go. <laughs> Less distraction. Uh, let's see here. Let's look at um, YouTube. What's going on here? We got Gunpla Network. Whoa. <laughs> hey, G Gunpla Network. Thanks for joining. It must be Danik. <laughs> um, Mage and Jiba just clearing out old kits starting to uh, starting no grade 1100 Infinite Justice. I built that Infinite Justice a long time ago. I I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I even did a paint job on that one. Let me know how that build goes. It's been a while since I built uh, a no grade one. Really cool. Uh, from Vince, uh, prayers to them. Uh, hope they recover soon. That's right. Amen to that, brother. Amen to that. Um, over at Facebook, we got Joey. Uh, hey, how's it going? Okay, okay. I have joined the group. <laughs> awesome. Welcome to the jungle, Joey. How's it going? All right. Hope you're you're working on a kit as well, or just hanging out. Tonight is chill hour. I. You know, okay. So, doing some reflection, guys, on. How I build it. and people have asked me, it's like, hey, are, are you feeling burnt out? Are you feeling stressed and all that stuff? And I'm like, uh, I like what I'm doing. I don't think I'm burnt out or stressed just yet. Um, but the feeling of Wednesday shows, a um, little backstory about me. I had a project out in the east uh, of Canada in New Brunswick and I was stationed there. Um, our client is really, really apparently wealthy and well off. And uh, I work in interior design and uh, architecture. And uh, the building project there, the client requested that someone is boots on ground every week until the project is complete. And uh, I, I was asked to like move out east for like six months, and I said nah, because I there's there's not that I'm saying that the east coast is bad. I just don't see myself living there for six months. Um, I would probably go crazy, or I would drive everybody else there crazy. So, anyways. I um, I flew weekly, okay guys, weekly for about a year and a half, uh, minus some winter time for breaks and you know some summer holidays. But so I was very very accustomed to to traveling a lot for almost a year and a half. I was in the airport, um, you know, 6 a.m. in the morning, fly out on a Tuesday morning, and then fly back. Um, either Wednesday night or Thursday morning and I would work here um, anyways when the feeling of Monday for me is like going to like away from home the journey starts that's where the journey starts right you pack your bag you, you're good to go you're you're getting ready and you get through the hurdle and the first hurdle really is getting this guy to stand and that to me I think is like the bulk of our work here but Wednesdays and I was just again reflecting back on the feeling of Wednesdays um, it's when I'm traveling back, back home. Like, it doesn't matter where you are. Like, I'm just I'm saying, I, when, every time I travel somewhere, I feel like the journey going there feels longer and more, uh, I wouldn't say work, but like has a little bit more involvement in it. 
but the travel back i don't know if you guys could relate let me know in the comments if you can relate the travel back home feels more satisfying feels more calm feels more secure anyways that's like a little bit of a side story and what i feel tonight very chill very calm and just we're just gonna knock this guy out of the park sound good <laughs> all right let's keep at it um we're gonna need the d's next get some of these d's um from facebook um joey here uh, always good uh just finish a few builds and gotta take a break thank you for joining us on the break bruh um and uh i thought my drive to canmore every morning was rough <laughs> humbled me <laughs> oh man canmore nice man that's cool um hopefully you weren't driving like you know for a year and a half <laughs> that sounds like a journey how far would you say uh that would be uh, over at uh, YouTube, we got Vince here. Um, I'm thinking of getting the RX-78 since it has the hanger and looks like has more details. Yeah, the hanger one looks cool, but is like is everybody saying that it's a P band? It's a P bandai for these guys, and there's two types, right? The 144 and a 1100. Um, have they confirmed that the 1100 is actually master grade or? Is that still falling under the the new master grade extreme? I bet you. Um, looking from the photos, it feels like there might be a lot of stickers on it. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. Um, I was talking with Simon Lamb um, the other day. Uh, again, he's one of our last guests on the uh, Featured Builder Live. Uh, so feel free to check that out on YouTube. But uh, so his comment was, uh, it feels like someone from Seed designed it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, because of the flashy colors, the slim design, the more modern look. <laughs> Anyways, some, some food for thought on that one. Um, okay, so we're, we are just chopping, chopping away. Chop, chop. I'm assuming I'm chopping the right things because I have stopped looking at the instructions. But it's all good. It's, it's the... Wait, 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 wait. What the hell is this? High grade Origins mobile suit. No, this is, you are not part of this set. Get out of here. Draggler? <laughs> you know what it is? I uh, I was cleaning this this table over here and there was a runner and I'm pretty sure I just like shoved it into this. <laughs> yeah, and I'm cutting this piece. I'm like, oh, this looks like the hand piece for it. You totally look like the color for this kit right here. <laughs> Oh boy, it's gonna be that kind of night. Hey Sin, how's it going? Welcome to the show. Um, Josh is in the show as well. Good stuff. And uh, from Quinn here, so much detail on the new RX kits. Yeah, I, it's really cool that they could put that much detail on an RX-78, yet they can't give us a uh, V8 or Mercurius. Just saying, as a wing fan, give me something. Bandai, help me. Help me help you, man, seriously. I will build this the hell out of your kits if it's something I've never built before. Well, not necessarily built, not the same kit-ish I built before. That That is my wish. That's my Christmas wish. I'll be a very, very good boy if they could provide that for me for, for Christmas. Give me something. Anything. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out on YouTube what's going on here. Uh, Majin Jiba is uh, want the high-grade RX-78 II. Uh, and from Vince, there are a lot of speculation going on because of the box doesn't say HG and MG only the scale. So pretty cool stuff on that. Again, big mystery. Bandai is really milking that uh, mystery vibe. Mysterious vibes, as they call it. All right. What are we, do we need this guy here? Where does this guy go? <laughs> All right, let's pretend we know what we're doing and put stuff together. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is I've cut off a whole bunch of the D parts and these green, foamy green, sea green, sea foam green are the armor plates. So we're going to try and put this thing together uh, based on what I think it's going to be. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Um, let's go over to Facebook. Uh, Josh, um, will uh, there then it will be for sale at yokohama um or a mg leo yeah mg leo I, I i mean that's so reachable they have like the uh the tall geese frame already they have the framework you know um and then from joey we all can't get enough rx 78s apparently right <laughs> and don't get me wrong i love rx 78s i am i'm not against rx 78s i'm just saying it would be nice 
to diverse from it once in a while. I think, you know, give, give something to the fans. Goes and makes another unicorn. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so we got the uh, elbow articulation thingy going on here. Uh, I think it's this guy for this. This? Oh, does it fit in the hole? Okay. I think it... Nope. Fits like that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it fits like that now. And let's get this guy going. Alright. Alright, alright. So we got those guys going on there. Let's, let's build some of these lower arms here. And... Interesting, interesting. It, ha it doesn't need any other extra part, it already has like a hole for the hand to go to, so that's new. Um, usually there's like a PC part or an extra like gray frame to go in there, but this one seems to be different. This kit really is surprising me, like lots of like unique design, there's the, the hole for the uh, the shield attachment I'm assuming. Wait, shield attachment? This thing doesn't have a shield attachment? What the hell is this hole for? Hey, we're gonna find out! <laughs> All right, uh, going over to YouTube. What do we got here? Um, how about the Gundam Sh Online Expo? Hoping to snag some Gundam base exclusive. That's from Mage and Jiba. Uh, from Vince, RX-78, Unicorn, Seed, Wing, Bandai's four, horse four, four Horsemen. That is not, not untrue. The Four Horsemen of Bandai. Um, I mean, Seed is coming. Isn't Seed like... The 10th year anniversary right now? I'm pretty sure it's like 10 year right now for that. Could be wrong. Um, let's see. Going on here. This, is this connecting right? I'm assuming it is. There's like a little weird indent that's happening right here. I'm kind of just thrown off by that. But otherwise, all good, all good. All right, making lots of progress here. And uh, this guy here requires, I believe, the piece that we finally <laughs> took out yesterday that didn't use, so yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when we don't follow roads, we have excess parts, which is fine. It's okay. It's okay to, you know, have fun with your kit. You don't necessarily, like again, I, I don't know about you guys. I, I, I feel comfortable just kind of deviating from the instructions. It's there as a guideline. For you guys that follow instructions, try it one time and, and, and not follow the one, two, three, four, five, six step. Let me know how you feel afterwards. I'm very curious. That's a social experiment that I want to do uh, with you guys for those who follow the builds. And for those who've already deviated, good job, guys. Good job. Oh, wait. Okay, all right. Um, what do we need here? We need... Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a couple of things going on here. There's two pegs there, which means there's some, some sorcery happening here. Now I need to really look at the map. And this is me going like, oh yeah, don't follow the map. So what they're saying here is like there's this weird looking double jointed thing and that. So we got this guy here, but that's for one arm and I'm assuming it's for just this guy here. So let's go. So we need that. Um, I believe we need another F for that. I think it's this guy. All right, let's, let's keep at it. Let's keep at it. All right, what's going on there? Uh, Facebook Live seems to be there's a couple of things here going on from Quinn. Oh, you're a wing fan. <laughs> How about another half dozen wing zeros? <laughs> That's what wing fans want, right? <laughs> Nothing wrong with wing. Hey, I, I I enjoy wings. It's just for as long as it's not another wing zero. That's what that's that's you know it's that a simple request. Simple, I think ask ask any Gundam fan, any real Gundam fan, they'll tell you the exact same thing. So, all right, uh, from Joey here, a wing. <laughs> Oh wait, that was uh, okay. From Joey, as a wing fan, you as a wing fan, have you built the MG Verka? Yes, I have, several times. Um, I just picked up picked it up, but I was wondering how was the build experience. So when I was building the the Verka, so the Verka wing was the first or no second release Ka, because it was the RX 78 first and then the wing, and the original wing Ka. If you pick that up, and the new OVA. Ka, no, it's the new OVA wing uh, Gun Gundam for the Endless Waltz. They're exactly the same. I did not see any difference. The only difference is like the, the, the that I know anyways, the color of the inner frame of the wing Ka original is brown. Yeah, 
brown. I'm not talking about, um, you know, like, oh, there's a hint of brown, like like a warm gray brown gray. No, 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 no. It, it, it's like somebody accidentally like pressed brown while they're mixing the inner frame and they go, oh, whoops, but they're already in production and they say roll out, you know, a couple of thousand of this. It's, it's there. It is quite noticeable. So for those guys who have um, did the wing ka before, I think you, you guys have the idea of that. And for those who have not built the Verka wing, you're in for a treat. My personal uh, recommendation that pick up the Endless Waltz Edition. Um, it's more color accurate. Um, I actually, I can't pull it out right now, but it's in the glass case. Um, that one is, I think, my, my preferred recommendation. It's also easily ready, ready to pick up, easy to find kind of thing. So um hopefully that helps but i mean up to you guys if if you want to try it out Ver verka wing um it's a lot smaller so again the scale of wing versus say the rx78 uc line or even seed the the wings are always slightly shorter um it actually feels thin like after building i, I was building master grades at the time um i remember because i remember picking up the the first high the first verka wing I just completed a master grade of the older kits, which is the GM Custom from uh, 0083 and building that bulky kit and then switching to a Verka wing, night and day. It's it's like, it, it feels thin, like there's no meat at all uh, with the wing kits. So anyways, when you pick it up, let me know, um, tag me on your build uh, on Instagram or on social media. I'd, I'd like to see uh, and hear your thoughts about it. Okay, let's uh, take a look at YouTube real quick here. Um, from JMV Raimundo. Hello. Hey. Hi, JMV. Welcome to the show. Where are you at, man? Where in the world are you from? And hope you're building tonight. Hope you're having fun. And tonight's chill out. Come hang out and chill with us, all right? Uh, okay, let's go and take a look more at this. Wow, I got super distracted a little bit. Not distracted. I came and talked with you guys. That's Seriously, this is so much fun, guys. So much fun. Um, let's see, uh, from YouTube, not YouTube, uh, from Facebook, uh, from Josh, it'll be 20 years for seed in 2022. Holy cow, right? Yeah, age test. Uh, from Quinn, I thought about building the Wodom pod build, uh, just for you, Ariel. Aw, thank you. I, I, I finally got the, uh, Wodom, so that arrived. Um, Kirk, readings, uh, this is anarchy, no instructions, use the instructions, no Kirk, the, the instructions are, are, are what's holding us back, that's what's holding us down man, free yourself, free your, free your, your freedom, Gunpla is freedom, forget instructions, we're gonna go, we're gonna go blind on this one, forget, forget everything you know about building. <laughs> Uh, from Quinn on Facebook, uh, welcome to the stream where the steps are made up and the instructions don't matter, exactly. <laughs> what steps? <laughs> what instructions? <laughs> instructions, did you say? We know such no words. We don't do- Where's that meme from, uh, from, uh, Black Panther? <laughs> we do not do that here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I think it goes- I'm pretty sure it goes this way. That's like, boom, it fits like a glove-ish. Let's go with that. Sure. <laughs> uh... Now let's play a little bit of uh, Lego, not Lego, can't use that word around here. This is a model kit, this is Gundam. This is Gundam. And, okay. So if I was a model kit, nope. Ah, okay. Let's do that again with feelings. Looks like the thinner thing goes up like that. So, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Ooh, all right here we go here we go let's let's do that again did it work i hope it worked no it did not work uh oh something is afoot what is that okay so this goes like that and... ah i see Let's see here. Oh, it's stuck, huh? Alright, come here, you little... I think we did a lot faster working on the legs than we did with the arms, and the arms are not even that big. Jeez. Okay, so that goes like that. Pretty sure this guy goes something like... Nope. Huh. 
like this oh okay like that got it <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at YouTube. What's going on here? Uh, JMV is saying, watching this because I also got the DJ from Philippines. Hey, kamusta ka kay Bigan? Anong bago dyan sa Filipinas? Sa Pinas pala. Sorry, that's me talking Tagalog. I'm just saying, hi, how's it going in the Philippines? Right shoulder with three ball joints. Yeah, man. Can't have... <laughs> can't have... <laughs> enough ball... <laughs> can't have enough ball joints. <laughs> ball on your joints ah huh? i made a funny silly oh my god all right so filipino fellow brother from philippines welcome um i'm surprised uh Ed edson's not online yet on facebook he's also from the philippines thank you brothers um for joining in and tuning in all right let's uh let's put this together and i think we we got something here we definitely got something we got the arms going there we go sweet i think that it's pretty cool like so this thing has a lot of free flowing oh no it, it popped out oh no it's all popping out crap <laughs> spoke too soon okay be gentle with the ball joints guys you can't have your your stuff popping out and you gotta pop it back in all right Okay, so that happened for that. Let's continue on with the right shoulder. Okay, so what kind of devilish things do we need for this guy here? Um, we need this. We need... Okay, so this goes like here. Like so. Okay. So it does that army thingy. And then we're going to put a PC part somewhere here. Alright, there we go. But now, what's gonna connect? Okay, so we got this guy. We got... Uh... Hmm. Let's see here. I think it's supposed to go this way. Missing a piece. Let's go take a look at D. Probably missing something here. You, you, you look like a piece. <laughs> Come here. Come here, little squirt. Oh, man. So, from uh, YouTube Live, from JVM. Uh, locked down here, but Gunpla keeps me sane. You know how much I've heard Gunpla keeps me sane the last six months? Guys, for you guys who are in lockdown, for you guys who are, you know, feeling like, you know, stuck or whatever, thank you guys for hanging out and, and continuing on. Hopefully Gunpla building stuff um, is giving you guys some kind of relief. Um, some kind of sense of community, especially when you guys are coming in here chatting, chatting with your friends, chat with each other, guys, in the, in the chat. Feel free to do that. Um, following each other on social medias. Guys, guys, right now, if you guys have your social medias ready and you guys want to share that with everybody on this on this uh, chat right now, be it at YouTube Live, Facebook Live, just, just put it in the comments. And for those who are putting them up, guys, give them a, a like, a subscribe, follow them. These are your brothers and sisters, guys. These these are your fellow community friends. These this is your your network. This is your the guys that will understand you the most. If that if that makes sense. Like I I every every people that I have interacted with in one form or the other, I, I totally get your background, I totally get what you're, you're coming from. And again, thank you guys for for taking that time to to one build, like the hobby, all right? Enjoy the hobby. And, and come hang out with us. That is the most important part. This The build part to me is bonus. Communicating with you guys, hanging out with you guys, building stuff with you guys. That, that is the core. That is the core of the show. So I just want to let you guys know what we're about. Please feel free to share your, your, your socials with everybody. Let's make friends tonight. Okay? All right. <laughs> uh, let's go over to Facebook Live. What's going on here from... Um, Quinn, welcome to the stream. Okay, nope, uh, we got Robert here. What instructions? Oh wait, where are my instructions? <laughs> From Joey, uh, switching to YouTube, just uh, finished a build and now I got the itch. No instructions, yeah, yeah. Instructions are fun, but like, you know what? When, you know what's funner? No instructions, because then no one's telling you what to do. <laughs> but, but have them handy, just in case you get lost. It's like going on a road trip and you're like, yeah, we're going to go up, up valley to the, the camp somewhere there and you get there and you're like, okay, we are totally lost. Are we even in the right cabin? So it's good to have, but sometimes freeing when you don't need to refer to it all the time. Also, I built a lot of kits, guys. This is probably like my 400 kit by now that I built. Some kits I've rebuilt before. 
Um, so I kind of have a sense of, and once you build a few kits, like literally, like say ten, you kind of have a sense of what's going on, like what type of parts, where they go. I mean, if you know basic anatomy of like a mobile suit, you kind of get that that third sense, third sense, sixth sense, because I have only two two other senses, <laughs> and that's uh, that sense for pizza, and. Oh, what's what's another food I would love? What what's another food I would love to eat right now? I would love to have some pizza, um, but the other one I would say, I don't know, poutine. Yeah, so that's a Canadian thing: French fries, gravy, cheese curds. If you guys are ever coming to Canada, you got to try some poutine. All right, find me in Toronto. We're gonna go for some poutine. Actually, we're gonna probably drive to Montreal and then get some poutine. All right, <laughs> let's keep at it. Okay, so that is the arm flexi flex. Okay, let's do a quick flex on this one. It can do that kind of bend. Really cool stuff here. And it does the this kind of bend left to right. And let's see here. This is pretty much stuck. It just goes up and down, up and down. And then there's a ball joint that's going to connect to the arm later on for a swivelly movement. And then for the right hand here, or right arm, same thing with the flex. It can do up to that rather and then we got the shield that kind of, again it's a ball joint so it could do all sorts of ball jointy thing as well as the top pole drawn okay and let's um put her in okay so the dj now has arms look at that but you know what is scary i don't know where these parts are going <laughs> what are these oh okay anyways we'll Hopefully somebody will explain to me what that is for. <laughs> All right, what time is it? It's uh, it's 9.30, it's 9.30. Um, speaking of community, we were just talking about community just now. I wanna do a quick break and talk about my community. And uh, you know, ah, what the hell? Just, just check the video, it will explain by itself. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the stream and hopefully you guys are enjoying the show so far. I just wanna let you guys know about an amazing online community that I am part of and it's called Side6. Here, you will find like-minded modelers and hobbyists who enjoy the mecha and gunpla genre. We encourage posting of whips, projects, and tutorials to help each other move forward in our hobby and in our community. We are always open to new members of all skill levels, so come check us out at facebook.com slash groups slash side6. We also have an Instagram where we feature members' works, and you can find that at instagram.com slash side6 underscore mecha. For all new club information, resources, and news, you could check out our website at www.side6.club. All right, let's get back to the show and see what's going on there. And welcome back. So yes, Side6, check us out. Um, lots of new people uh, joining in, in almost every day. Please check out our community, post with us, grow with us. We'd love to see your work. Let's see your journey. Uh, I've been trying to post my whips now again, um, trying to get back into the shape of things. And why are you up there? Let's get back here. All right, so here we are, the DJ with the arms. Um, why are we gonna give him some hands, give it some wings, try some of the weapons out. <laughs> Stop going there. Uh, all right, let's start with the hands first. Uh, okay, so it looks like the B has these guys here. I'm assuming that's the handy stuff. Sure. What's that for? That's supposed to go to the leg. <laughs> huh. Well, you look at that. No, it's fine. Totally fine. Let's uh, continue and pretend we didn't see anything, all right? Yeah. Gonna get some of these lefty, righty, hooky things for the hands. And uh, we'll give it some hands. All right. Uh, from Facebook, we got JB joining us. Hey, JB, how's it going? All right, where are the hand stuff? So I know this guy has several weapons. Do we want to give it a trigger finger on both hands? Probably. You know what? I'm going to give a trigger finger on one and a holdy finger on the other. That will that should balance it out. I need to put any type of uh, handy gestures. But there are several hands. There's a trigger finger that I just cut. There's an open hand for Kira and Atherin. Kira. Asuran! Uh, hands, and then we got a couple of closed fists going on here. So we're going to get the lefty closed fist. And we'll see how that goes. The, this guy has uh, several weapons. A bazooka. 
a rifle and a nag nag I can never pronounce that. What is it called again? Put on this box. The uh oh Naginata. There we go. I totally butchered it, but that's that's what it's called. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Getting there, getting there. So I think it's for this. And for the lefty hand, I think it's this guy right here. Huh, what's that? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, we're gonna get a whole bunch of hands soon. So uh, let's get handy on these things. All right, so I'm assuming the triggery finger so something like this and something like so okay all right getting there oh, wait I see some nubs gotta get those nubs guys get rid of those nubs and sorry I'm just taking it off camera just because like, I need to look at it a little bit closer all right let's put this hand here triggery finger and let's see, we need the other other finger, which I'm assuming is... <laughs> Where do you go? Where did this come from? Are you from the right hand? Probably. Definitely the right hand. Nope. Yes. Which we don't need. We will need the lefty hand, so I'll just leave that <laughs> on the sprue um, for later use. I still don't know where these guys go, so that's going to be fun. All right, um, let's see, let's put this guy together and give it to the left hand, which is gonna be the closed open circle kind of handle thingy there. All right, what's going on YouTube? YouTube, talk to me guys, what's going on? Um, let's see here. He's from QC, so that's Quezon City. Um, that's JMV. Uh, guys, stay safe with uh, the packaging of Gunpla, clean it, yes. The plastic and the box, spray that thing with like sanitizers, Lysol, you know, um, holy water from your mom's uh, treasure chest of holy waterness. <laughs> um, let's see here from Vince, Gunpla is, the Gunpla is freedom statement really sets us free during this tough times. Correct. Because our hobby really gives us, we're already doing a hobby that we enjoy and like just this just kind of gives us more time to do it. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then from JMV, those I think are the, oh sorry, you didn't pick the, <laughs> sorry, from Majin Jiba, you didn't pick any Filipino food, lumpia. No, if it was Filipino food, kare kare, lumpia, pancit, lichon, menudo, man, all of that, send all of that in, in a container. I will go to your aunt's house, I will go there, I will go to my mom's house, I will just eat there and have barbecue, man. Have you ever been to a Filipino barbecue and that's a... That's that's kind of a rhetorical question. You guys should at least experience a Filipino barbecue once in your life. It's fun and, and lots of food and pork, pork, sugar, ketchup, and, and spaghetti from Jollibee. There we go. Send me all of that. I'll eat all of that. <laughs> uh, let's see here from JMV. Those I think are the articulated fins for the backpack. Oh, okay, okay. Um, hey, Ariel. It's Yama Boy. Yama Boy in the house. What's up, man? Uh, this guy right here, check him out on Instagram, Yama Boy. Really cool guy. I like I like this guy. Lots lots of lots of gunpla energy. Okay, uh, let's continue on. And wait, did we put the hands on that? Okay, so if this is the for, for the flying thingy, let's why don't we work on the flying thingy? Let's get to the let's get to Okay. Where are we anyways? I don't know where we are. The backpack. Is there anything I need to know? Is there anything I need to know? Instructions that, where are you? Why? Why are we even? Why are we even here? I don't see you. Oh, pff, there it is. Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's see here. So this guy here, definitely a backpack piece. You know my scariest sound. That I would probably hear from this show is when this nipper eventually cracks. Here's the thing though, I do accept that eventually this thing is gonna crack. Like snip. Have you guys ever seen those horror stories from the uh the people that have been using this for quite some time? And then it goes ooh, ooh, scary. Scary stuff. 
And also, there's the, the head already, so I should just... Yep. Oh, whoa, 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 careful there. There we go. Because we're doing multitasks. Let's continue. See that? I totally deviated from what I was going to do. <laughs> I'm assuming things are going to go exactly the way they should be. No rules. Just hang out, you know? All right, let's check into Facebook. What's going on there? Uh, from JB, just getting ready for work soon. Oh, yeah, you're in night graveyard shift now. Um, from Juanito, uh, when you shop for a local gun plant in Toronto, which places do you go to? Uh, yeah, Meeple Mart is one of my locals. Uh, Wheels and Wings is the other one on the Danforth. Um, and sometimes Anime Extreme. But that's because those are within my my distance. They are in Toronto GTA, like within GTA, as in Toronto. In Toronto. Everything else outside of that, eh, it's not really GTA or Toronto per se. Uh, but if you're living outside of the inner core, there's a lot of other options to go check out as well. So. All right, um, from Juanito, where is it? I will let you guys figure out where that is. <laughs> um, okay, and then on YouTube, what's going on here on YouTube? Um, from Vince, hot dog on sticks with marshmallows. What is this, like a child's birthday? <laughs> so traditional Filipino thing that we do, and I don't know if you guys know this, so we're gonna do a little bit of like uh, some, some traditional Filipino talk right now. Because so I am Filipino, I grew up in Manila. I moved here when I was 10, guys. Um, and I've been in, in Toronto. I started off with Brampton, which is just north of Toronto, and then I moved my way to the city. Um, anyways, so typical birthday party for kids. <laughs> Let me emphasize kids, which I still would, would totally eat the, the hell out of it. Um, we would make hot dogs, put them in a stick, and then put marshmallows on either end. And then, what you forgot to mention there, um, Vince, is that we also use pineapple, like we skin a pineapple and we stick the barbecue skews in a circular pattern uh, from bottom of the from the bottom of the uh, pineapple all the way up. Cool. All right, here we go. I think we need the frames on this, which is this thing right here. All right, let's see what's going on in Facebook there, guys. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, man, I mean, if you're in Toronto, there's a lot of options. For sure. With a more uh, diverse, competitive pricing. But I mean, it depends where you really get your stuff, man. Like, if it's closer to you, it just becomes convenience. However, for me... Um, yeah. All right. Uh, that is it for this frame. Look at that. We finished it. That is, it's done. The, the, the A1 is donezo. Let's get this out of here. Uh, do we need that? Probably. Whoa, 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 whoa. Getting ahead of ourselves here, buddy. And do we need any of these? Nope. We do, I think, we need this, these guys. And we will also need this guy's here. So let's continue. All right, YouTube, what's going on there, YouTube? All right, swap to the YouTube, decided on an easy build for now, for the number instructions, oh, for the no instructions, high grade Exia repair. High grade Exia repair, no instructions challenge is accepted by Joey Blair. Hells yeah. Dude, do it. <laughs> you you want to see an extra extra on that? Time yourself. See how fast you can build it. <laughs> Alright, let's continue, guys. We're going to get this guy flapping with them wings. Flappity flap flap. Wangs. Chicken wings. Oh, man. Love chicken wings. Hey, hey holler at me on the, on the chat if you guys love chicken wings. What's your favorite flavor on chicken wings? All right, I was cleaning up some of the table space so we have some stuff here. I would so go for chicken wings, man. Let me tell you. M&M meat shop wings. 
you're if you're cooking at home and for restaurant it has to be one of those like buffalo wings the nice nice beefy leggy buffalo wings now I'm, we're just talking about food now this is great <laughs> all right the other a2 frame is now complete all right what do we need to do here we need to put this guy here and this guy here or something no yes so what this pops in like just in the middle i'm assuming it just pops in, in the middle let's try that Got this going on here. And let's see here. Neat. Huh. It fits like a butterfly wing. It's a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. This is actually neat. And you know what's crazy about this? I could probably cut like more custom-y... How thick do you think that is? About two millimeters? Like I could probably design something and use plot plates to, to, to really make this pop even more. Anyways, food for thought guys, the wings is pretty cool. Let's continue on with the build. Uh, wait, 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 there we go. There's a little bit of nubby, nubzillas happening here. Let's. Get rid of this guy here. We don't like nubs. I don't want no nubs. Nubs be them gates that get no love from me. Hanging on your model kit side with a best friend's ride trying to holler at me. Oh yeah, that's an age test by the way. Who knows that song? Who knows that rift? I don't want no nubs. Nubs are for gates that get no love from me. Wow, we're just totally... Oh, just singing now. The Filipino in me is coming out, guys. It's karaoke time. Somebody hit me with a mic. You get you there, J JMV, Ray. I'm gonna call you Ray from now on. Ray, hit me with a mic. Let's go to a barbecue and then we'll, we'll go sing some karaoke or something, man. <laughs> oh man! All right, where are we? We need to put this somewhere here-ish, I think. Uh. Like this. Okay, so that worked. And this. All right, cool. Okay, notice here, guys, um, for the thrusters, it's a separate color panel, a separate piece for color separation. The so good stuff on that. Good job, Bandai. Finally, <laughs> something worth uh, praising about. <laughs> okay, um,. So let's see, like this. Huh? Okay, so you go right and you go left. Is that how we're gonna work? Sure. Let's let's go with that. And the thruster spell. Okay. I mean that looks right. This looks about right. Sure. Get some of that nubs. You get no love from me, alright? Those nubs don't get no love from me. <laughs> from Facebook, let's take a look at what's going on here. Um, LOL, thanks, I am in Scarborough. Uh, geez, I remember those back in the day with no with the pineapple. Yep. Um, ah, empty frame, such a good feeling. I know, right? But this thing is not sticking, and I don't know why. Oh, because it needs this piece, I guess. All right, fine. We'll do it one step at a time. Let's do it the old-fashioned way, I guess. Uh, nope. I think it goes this way. Or does it go? Wait, 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 we're gonna get this. We are gonna get this. It's gonna go this way. And it's gonna go this way. Boom. And. Zooming, it goes. Nope. The other way, the other way. Come on, man. Like, I've never done this before, ever. 
All right, we got those guys going. We got like some double whole action thing happening here. All right, what else is happening on uh, Facebook here? From uh, Quinn, you got to pick up the Zaku for the store. JB, man, no. Scrubs, Robert is correct. That is from Scrubs, TLC guys, Scrubs. And uh, from Quinn, I want a legit no nubs cover now. <laughs> oh boy, what have we started? Uh, okay, so okay, that that feels about right. And the wings, just kind of what like slip in there? No. Huh. So it goes this way and... Uh oh. Hmm. How do you flap? You know flap? You go here? See, now we're lost. <laughs> we're gonna go refer to our manual. What's going on? Oh, we totally, totally missed it. No shit. All right. And I totally didn't read the uh, instructions, so I'm assuming it's this guy. I looked at it. I did not read it. I, I looked at, like, image. <laughs> Yusef in the house on uh, Facebook Live here. How's it going, Yusef? Let's see here. There it is. I think it's this guy. All right, let's check out uh, YouTube Live. What's going on there, YouTube? Talk to me. Uh, CLC. No. No, TLC. Nubs equals scrubs. You need to scrub out. <laughs> From Ray, the song lines are updated. I kid you not. Really? Okay. Karaoke, but no lyrics. Sure. Uh, from Henry, did they have... Did, they have sticker for it for the old version uh dj uh i'm not sure about that one henry uh sorry harry harry I, small screen sorry about that harry 622 uh i'm not sure if there were stickers if it was the older ones i i don't even i don't think they're like the older ones even had stickers uh this one um only has a couple of stickers and i could show you that right now um which is this guy's here so these are the only stickers that come with this kit uh, for the DJ, for this particular DJ, so... Um, might have to do some research on that before uh, picking up an older kit, but... Technically, this is a newer kit, like, this is a... Uh, holy cow, this is high grade 219, guys. That's how, that's how this guy rolls. Okay, so it does that. So where does... No, it feels weird just having it like... Like this. Sorry, I'm like trying to figure out what the hell this wing is about and it's not like totally jiving right now. So the hole for this is actually meant for a specific... Yeah, like this guy won't fit there. So this is definitely the hole for this. Fine. Where's that other piece? So this needs to go like here. Oh, that's why. Oops. Sorry, folks. I am learning as we go. I installed this one wrong. So it goes the other way. And it'll be like this. That way we could put it on the top mount of there we go. We got them dragon wings going. Get the wings going. Meh. And there goes whatever that is, the, the top shoulder part. Oh man, this is a lot harder than I thought. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're gonna get this right, guys. And for my next trick, we're gonna actually install it. All right. CLC is a K-pop. Oh, here we go with K-pop. What's your latest K-pop track, guys? And go. Hit me up with some tracks. Any, any new tracks from any group right now? K-pop. Hit me. That's on YouTube. Send links. Okay. 
So, coolness on the design of the wings, it could go up and down like so. And it could somewhat flap, but not really. So I don't really know what the point of this is. Shields? Or what? I... It's, it's an interesting silhouette. Sure. But that's pretty much it. Okay, um, let's continue. I just want to make sure that this thing is not like... It's gonna fall off or something because there's like double ball joints going on here um, for the wing so I just want to make sure it's all set up close enough to wherever that is pretty cool like from from the profile view of this like this I dig it because it has this really cool color separation panel design uh, these hook thingies here are for the weapons or to lock onto so all right let's continue we got the head up next. Ah, this thing is flying all over the place. So we got these guys going on here. And this piece is the mouth snout. I think there's a whole bunch of A parts for this one. Yeah, so there's that the commander fin. It's very psionic for this one. But it's also very fetty at the same time. Do you believe in Fetty after Xeon? I can feel the suits on it. Really don't think strong enough. Oh. Okay. Uh, I think we need some of the snout pieces for these guys here. How come there's two of them? Okay. Sure. Let's continue. I haven't really paid attention much on the, the head face design of this, so hopefully it will make sense once we start putting stuff together. Whoa, 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 don't scratch that. Okay. So apparently these things have two distinct feature to it. Why? Open and closed? Which one should we go with? I want to say two. Go with two. Final answer. All right. In Facebook Live, we have Miguel joining us. Uh, any plan on painting any of the backlog builds in the future? Yes, that is a yes. I do plan on painting them in the future. But also, guys, I'm actually planning on giving these away <laughs> as a raffle um, or like some kind of draw. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what's the best way to do that. But to be honest, man, like I want to be able to share these with people that might actually use them for, for builds. So something I am uh, thinking about probably in the next while. I'll let you guys know about that. I obviously don't have room for everything and I don't have any issues letting go of stuff. So yeah. I might do a, a raffle or uh you know what i could probably make a game out of it oh oh ideas are brewing guys ideas are definitely brewing let me let me get back to you on that one miguel thank you for asking um and let me get back to you um with some more info on that but yeah there's a couple of things i want to paint definitely the uh dan design i would love to paint that I, I would probably love to paint this if i have time but again it all depends on Project time, that kind of thing. So, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so I don't know where that is for. Did we actually totally miss that? Uh-oh. Uh, is it supposed to go here? Interesting. It might have supposed to go here. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that, because I don't know what that is uh let's see so we got this the cover plate is on that 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 but there's like holes at the back here so i'm assuming there's something for the back of the head i don't know what that is let's see okay so this is the weapons i'm just pulling out all the weapons and stuff this one is clear and that's the d2 this is the weapon for this guy here, the only thing here is for the hands, so that's fine. The D, 
there are some hands here and this probably this feels like something this feels like it should connect with something so let's let's keep that out somewhere there this one is empty that's the a2 the e2 is also empty okay this is the a1 again looks empty and b2 looks empty so that's all these are the only ones that have stuff in it still so let's go look at our roadmap <laughs> All right, what do we got? What are you trying to tell me, roadmap? Ah, interesting. There is a little uh, item that we missed during instructions. And that's for the backpack. Because why backpack? Why? Why would you do that to all these people? Get this, the backpack and the head needs to be installed almost not in order the head first and then the backpack so what we need to do is pop this out okay and we're gonna where's the pc part uh oh here it is that's a pc part for the head by the way guys so we're gonna use our trusty pc head connector and put it there like so and we're gonna put the head first like this and remember i said hey there's this rubber thingy here where is it going so get this, it needs to go at the backpack. Ooh, did you hear that cut? It's like when you're cutting rubber. Ooh, quite satisfying. An, a an a a ASMR, a ASMR for that is definitely something I would, I would probably make, like cutting rubber close to a mic. <laughs> okay, so apparently there's a little weird. So you gotta plug the rubbery thingy here and the other rubbery thingy on that hole there for the head if it stays i don't know i don't even know if it's gonna stay or not like really jam it in there and then over here there's this little piece that holds it like that see that right there and then you put the backpack on top of it which ultimately secures it in place if I ever find the parts that are going to connect. So let's try that. Okay, here we go. Cool stuff. All right. So there is the, I would say fully built DJ. Lots of stuff here. So this is just the body mobile suit. Let's go to the weapons real quick and hopefully get that um, squared off. So we don't need the hands for now. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, let's begin with this fairly easy. This is the... Oh my god, I can never pronounce this thing. Where's that box? Ugh. The Beam Naginata. Naginata? Oh, I'm totally butchering that. Sorry, guys. All right, checking on, on YouTube. What's going on there, YouTube? Um... It's a Muros almost Xeon MS phase. That's from Raymond, um, from Jonathan Vas Velasquez. Hey, how's it going, man? Um, looking good so far. Oh man, hope it's not on the floor. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Oh, that was probably a while back. Like, like I said, like it's kind of weird. Like sometimes the pieces don't, don't show up where they need to. Uh, from Ray, uh, an obscure, as obscure as the MS is, the build is quite unique. It uses some of the concept of the high-grade uh, HEUC Zeta revived with the independent moving shoulder joints. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, absolutely. Okay, let's try to get this uh, Naginata. I'm going to get this right. By the end of the night, I'll be saying Naginata. 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 Hi. Oh, okay. Let, let's not do that again. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Okay, so here is the beam Naginata, Naginata, and I'm just gonna put the, the sword for now on it, um, but I'll probably take it out when we are holstering it, or rather the beam effects. It's really cool, like this beam effect is, is really, really neat. Love it. Okay, and I think it goes something like this, and something like that. 
So that's neat. I love it, especially when the lights hits it and it gives you that, that extra glow. Aww. Okay. Let's take that out for now. And this will be stored at the back hilt holster here, like that. Okay. All right, onto the guns. These are very, very Zeta guns. Very, very Zeta guns. And it looks like we're not gonna, not a lot to it. It's a sandwichy weapon. So we have the bazooka, um, which similar to like the Rick Diaz would use. Rick Doms even, I think. Any Anyone from Axis, I think uses this type of bazooka. Oh man, I gotta watch Zeta all over again. Check that out. All right, let's see here. I'm just going to cut all the pieces out because this frame, I believe, is just all guns. Guns, guns, guns. Speaking of guns, have you guys have you guys watched Guns Akimbo? The, uh, that movie with, um, what's his name? Harry Potter. Um, I saw it recently and man, that was a trip. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's like watching Crank. Totally, like, over the top storyline and action. Um, but it was quite satisfying. I really enjoyed it. Um, if you guys have seen it, let me know what you think. That's uh, definitely a movie I would recommend if you guys are just chilling out, hanging out. And let's see here. Boom! So this is, this looks like a Zeta rifle right here. With the, like a shortened barrel zeta rifle i mean it looks cool i dig it very simplistic but kind of hard to paint a bit because like this piece here the the wire thingy is all connected into the same plastic so lots of taping on this one um but overall solid build like yeah i mean it's a gun it, it does what it needs to do so we said that we're going to put it on the left hand and let's do that like right now uh wait 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 how does this go take the whole freaking assembly out <laughs> Okay, there we go, and... Oh, the Hayaka Shiki rifle. Yeah, Miguel has a point. Miguel from Facebook Live, he's just saying that, like, yeah, I, I think it's more of a Hayaka Shiki. Yeah, I guess so. Um, that regards. Good call, good catch, Miguel. Oh, come on, why aren't you closing? Okay, hang on, guys. I obviously have fat hands. I can't do this properly. Bear with me. This goes in. Okay, maybe that doesn't go in first. Maybe this goes in first. Oh, it doesn't fit. What? What do you mean it doesn't fit? Yeah, dude, it doesn't fit. That is really weird if it doesn't fit. So weird. Okay, just hang it with me, guys. Yeah, it doesn't fit. Weird. That is so bizarre. Whoa, this thing's flying. Okay, so that's gonna be... Should we use the bazooka? No, the bazooka could hang. Okay, so this is what we'll do, guys. This is what we're gonna do, all right? We're gonna keep the, the, the left hand closed, closed fist. And we're just gonna use the rifle on the other hand. And hopefully it'll all work out. But wow, that is so bizarre that the hole for the left hand fits. So, so that's something we learned today. I'm gonna have to research that a bit. But there's this this whole thingy for the hand does not allow for holding dual weapons. So good to know. So we will do that and put in the weapon. But in the meantime, why don't we finish this guy here? And it's fairly simple. You have three pieces, the main body sandwiched together, and then you have the piece for the, uh, I guess just the holding of the rifle, or the bazooka rather, where's it going, here? No, wait. Right, it's upside down because of this. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna install the gun like so. Ooh, snap, 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 snap. Sorry, <laughs> got carried away there. Uh, anyways, that's the, that's pretty much it for it. Like. 
and to holster it, I guess this thing just supposed to slide in like that. So the handle just rests inside this thing if it's not in use. And when it is in use, you kind of just, kind of just, just kind of, there you go, force it out a little. And then you flip it over and you use, and it's like, boom, boom. Unless I could put it here. Do I dare try? Nah, nah, I don't want to, I don't want to try it. We're just going to holster it on the left hand side here. But at least we could showcase where it's going to. So it's, it, sh it just apparently rests. Oh, it doesn't snug in well, eh? Oh, there we go. No, th there we go. It locked. So yeah, I mean, I, that's cool. I'd leave it there. I mean, to me, it's a secondary weapon anyways. Primary weapon, you got your hand blaster. And let's see if we could get this squeezed in. Yeah, it fits here, no problem. No gaps or anything on it, so that's cool. All right, um, let's make some room. There are some extra pieces, by the way, and I think uh, some of them are like for the face. I need to look at that with more lights. Um, there's also extra hands, open hands, closed fists, that kind of stuff uh, for the hands. And uh, yeah, so there it is. In all its glory. Pretty fun build. Um, would I recommend this? Yes. Um, we'll do a quick turnaround review on this. But first, um, why don't we uh, do a quick intermission and we'll be right back in one minute. Check this video out. Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Ariel from AOMecha. I just want to let you guys know about all my other social media outlets. If you haven't had a chance to check them out at facebook.com slash AOMecha on YouTube, youtube.com slash AOMecha on Instagram, instagram.com slash AO underscore Mecca on Twitter at AO underscore Mecca and on Discord, fairly new. Uh, that one is uh, AO underscore Mecca hashtag 3414. Anyways, hope to hear from you guys. Uh, through any of those platforms, feel free to DM me or PM me as well as emailing me. My email is aomecha.info at gmail.com. Just want to let you guys know that this episode is brought to you by USA Gundam Store. Please check them out, www.usagundamstore.com and save on your purchases when you use my discount code aomecha10. Alright, let's get back to the show and see what's going on there. All right, and we are back onto the show, but I am just still kind of setting up the uh, camera on this mode. So let's see how this is. Okay, so overall impressions of it, really cool. I dig it. Um, lots of stuff, lots of design features, especially the wings. I really enjoy um, the weapon system. Again, cool stuff on this. Let's see if I can do it a little bit better. Sorry, guys. This is like trying to tilt and... It's kind of heavy. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. And let's see if I could bring it back a little bit here so we could review the kit a little bit better. Is that better? More or less? Okay, cool. And that's uh, the other YouTube video that I could see all the chats about and whatnot. So anyways, this is the kit. It looks pretty cool. Stands really well. Um, quick articulation would be the hands go up and down. Well, hands obviously, did I say hands? I meant the arms go up and down. There's a little bit of swivel here. Flex and go all the way up like that. So that's pretty neat. Um, backpack, there's a little bit of uh, movement up and down, but it's literally up and down. Um, side to side, yes, but not really a lot. Um, and then the legs, really cool design, lots of cool details on it. Um, and we talked about the secondary skirt. So that pops it like that, this pops it like that, and then this thing bends like so. So it has a really nice reach and bend for it. Yeah, this is uh, more challenging than I thought. So anyways, that, those are all the cool stuff that it could do. Um, the There is a pivot at the uh, leg because over here, I don't know if the camera is going to be able to lock onto that. But anyways, in there, there's a peg. So this thing kind of just pivots. And on the feet, it does this ball jointy thing that rocks. Uh, for the head, it can has some limited movement. It has a ball joint, but I don't see it having a lot of up and down as much. I guess up, down, left, oh, sorry, right, 
and yeah and these rubbery things are going to be a pain um to control so something to whew, all right it popped out again ah <laughs> one sec guys let me fix it real quick but yeah the rubbery things on this um is probably my only say i wouldn't say negative but it's like least favorite thing to work with um just because number one they're not really secured as tight as i thought um actually before the show i was fixing the leg a little bit um and now we just saw some of the uh obviously the back of the head uh on that but i mean if you if you're very careful with your kit very careful of how you pose and whatnot um it's actually a fun uh build so anyways that is the dj for now i will have some photos to this on instagram um shortly well probably tomorrow morning because i'm kind of tired and uh we'll see how that goes right all right let's get out of the arena so that that was a fun build um lots of good stuff from that i really enjoyed it uh it's very unique in design it is very very zionic but also very very efsf and i think that's because of the weapon system um uh, the wings are really cool um uh signature design to it really enjoy that and uh yeah I, overall it's a really good kit um again the only thing that i didn't like about that or didn't enjoy as much is the rubber um piping um i think they could have just gone ahead with some kind of plastic i mean they have room i mean if it needs to tilt back and forth like i don't know why they didn't do that um what else can i say about the kit uh it is actually not that expensive for this type of design this type of uniqueness of a kit um it's actually well priced so i mean it should be relatively priced it won't break your bank or anything and uh yeah if you guys get a get a chance to build this kit trust me you guys are gonna have fun as well as i could see all kinds of customs with this take the backpack out and put random other zionic stuff on that i could see this having a psycho backpack i could see this having that what's that word the shrezazum backpack from the gelgoog i think that would be really cool um if you take the right shoulder pauldron and replace that with something sim if you have two of these kits and replace them both symmetrical i think the design would be really cool on that so lots of potential for kit bashing lots of potential uh, for upgrades uh for this kit but overall for stock good stuff minimal stickers um but very very um design worthy of your shelf yeah, let's go with that all right <laughs> before we go let's do a quick uh round the table see what's going on on facebook here uh facebook from miguel planning on painting this okay uh looks like the hyakushiki rifle yep uh for from someone who's only watched one gundam anime <laughs> you recognize the gun right away awesome yeah thanks miguel for joining and again everybody on uh facebook live thank you for joining let's go over to youtube see what's going on there um let's see here that is weird that i can hear the beam rifle sound from the zeta <laughs> that is from vince from ray sick colors from the ni nagi nata yeah sorry i can never pronounce it nagi nata nagi nagi nata we're gonna get that right eventually uh let's see here majin jiba uh and from ray it's the trigger hand i think uh in the show, Amura prefers the bazooka he blasts grunts with, lol. And from Jonathan, the rubber caps are always soft feeling. All right, um, yeah, that, that is it for the show tonight. Uh, again, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I'll have to work on a new coffee break, so I'm not sure if that's going to be tomorrow or Friday, but hopefully I'll get something there. Um, on Mondays, I'm going to be trying to do a unboxing video of what I'm going to build for the uh, Backlog Builder ahead of time. So I might either launch that Sunday night or Monday morning um, before the build. Again, we stream Backlog Builders on Mondays and Wednesdays. This Saturday, we have a special guest um, for AO Mecca. And uh, I just want to make sure I'm saying the last name right. And this is a shout out to him right now. Um, if you guys are on Instagram, our feature builder this coming Saturday is Gunpla underscore Ross, R-O-S-S. -S. And uh, yeah, you can check out his his stuff. Um, and I think his, his, his full name is Ross Athy. Athy? Athy. Uh-oh. That's why I got to scroll up, make sure that... Because uh, I, I, I've only known him only as his online handle, but lots of good stuff on him. So Gunpla underscore Ross r-o-s-s is his handle on instagram and his name is ross athy and uh he will be our guest for this saturday looking forward to seeing his build getting to know more about the builder and hopefully uh 
yeah, get inspired from what he does. Um, this show also is powered by USA Gundam Store. Visit www.usagundamstore.com and save when you use my discount code AOMECA10. Um, that is it. I think that we covered a lot of bases. New content, new stuff are coming on. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Feel free to share any of my um, YouTube videos to people that might be interested in this. Help me grow the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Again, thank you very much, guys. And, uh, you know, hopefully the rest of your Wednesday goes well. Um, thank you for hanging out. Build Gunpla, build all the things, tackle your backlog. But most importantly, have fun, build at your own pace. Okay? All right. Till next time, guys. From me to you, have a good night. Take care.